from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The Total Sports Safe Hub, a football-based after-school program for youth development, was launched last month in Alexandra, Johannesburg, as part of the South African Football Association's Vision 2022 that aims to provide the structures needed to develop local football talents. David Oliveira tells us more. Through sports retailer Total Sports' 8.5 million rand investment, the SAFA Development Agency, or SDA, was able to build an artificial football field in Alexandra Township. Total Sports has committed a further 5.4 million rand a year over the next five years, which will be used to train more than 600 coaches, 240 referees and 60 administrators. Total Sports has always had a belief that sport does change lives. As part of our product mix, football is, is, is one of our key pillars. And I think with the strategic partnership with SAFA and youth development, we thought this was an unbelievable partnership. So it's not only about football, it's about youth development. And I think as part of our CSI um, initiative, as part of the group, we thought this was a worthwhile cause. Safe Hub is a registered trademark of South African non-governmental organization, Amandla Edu Football. The youth development model has resulted in significant reductions in crime and violence, improvements in educational results and social skills for its participants through its tutoring program. To date, three other safe hubs in Kaya and Guguletu in the Western Cape and one in Deep Slut Gauteng have been launched in South Africa. Amantla started in 2007 in Cape Town's biggest township, Kaya and it was really dreamt out, up out of the idea how can we provide young people with the opportunity to escape this intergenerational cycle of poverty, inequality and unemployment. The Total Sports Safe Hub in Alexandra marks the first implemented in partnership with the SDA. Amandla Edu Football and the SDA have agreed to roll out 100 safe hubs by 2026 through a social franchise model supported by national government and corporate institutions. When we set up the development agency uh, nearly four years ago, um, we had a vision our vision is very big, it's to change football at the grassroots. And one of the key parts of that vision was to build facilities in communities that need them. And every basically, we have 343 communities around the country that need something like this. And um, through SAFA Johannesburg, we came and looked at the site and the SAFA Alex people said, this is where we need a facility. At that stage we did, had no idea who would fund it or how we would manage to achieve it. And it's been a long and sometimes difficult journey, but Total Sports came on board. Um, they have put in the funding to build this amazing facility. We have the city of Joburg right behind us and they're going to finish it off. So there's still floodlights that we need to put in and we're going to build an amazing 600 square meter youth development center here. That will also be a hangout space for young people. It'll be an administrative center, an ICT center. Um, and that's part of the program delivery of what we call a safe hub. Um, we, 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 we're really excited about the partnership with uh, the safe hub uh, originator, Amanda Edu Football. And our goal together is to actually replicate this a hundred times throughout the country. Uh, this is the fourth one and we have probably another 10 that will be either opening or under construction in the coming year. Three years after Sassel approved its new 2 billion rand headquarters in Catherine Street in Sanson, it commissioned its final phase. Megan van Vanguard has more. The chemicals company earlier this month unveiled its colossal steel and glass building, housing some 2,500 employees. The building consolidated Sassel's 17 Johannesburg-based offices under one roof, cutting its office footprint by 40%. Sassel Strategic Projects Senior VP Faye Hussein explains the details. We actually put in as Sassel a request for proposal to the market to say we're looking to consolidate our 17 offices into one office complex and that went out to market in 2012 and the successful party was announced in March 2013 and that is our Sassel Pension Fund and their partner Elixir Trust and construction uh, they actually broke ground yeah in um, April 2013 and it went all the way to October this year, 2016, when construction was finally completed. It's 47 meters tall. There's seven levels of parking, so it goes 17 meters deep as well. Uh, we've got 11 stories and we've got a massive ground floor atrium, which is 20,000 square meters, 67,000 square meters of rentable office space 
close to 100,000 square meters of basement parking and then 4,000 square meters of what we call rooftop garden landscaping because it's off ground, it's not quite on the ground floor um, and that's why it makes it actually the biggest rooftop garden in Africa. At the moment we've actually got 2,500 residents in the building and that excludes the 300 people that make it all work. So it's our security, our cleaning, our kitchen personnel, our culinary teams um, and over and above that that, we can accommodate up to 4,000 people if we were to reconfigure the current layout of the building. So it really has been designed with the future in mind. Um, it's not a case of only fitting the people we have today, but also the people that we will hope to attract in the future. Um, and what we've done in terms of the facilities that we have at the moment is really using the spaces very wisely so that we've got a lot more function spaces, a lot more stakeholder engagement areas, um, so that it is really multifunctional, um, not only for the people in the building, but also for those who visit us. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.